been working on a uh, uh, on robotic applications for more than a decade, and. But my um, lesson learned is that people, human beings, are still very important and a very impressive being because people are agile, and flexible, and multifunctional. When we look at the history of robotics, it started with industrial robots or robotic arms. These robotic arms are very good at moving from point A to B and B to C, follow a pre-determined path. Now with machine vision, these robotic arms are equipped with eyes. They can do more tasks. However, this is still a traditional rule-based robotics. And there's a lot of limitations. For example, any minute changes in the environment, in um, the objects involved in the work process, that would affect the robotic arm's efficiency and work results. With AI being equipped on robotic arms and on industrial robots, we can see an improvement in the performance of industrial robots. This AI um, collaboration with industrial robots have solved a lot of our problems in the past. However, it can also lead to some additional problems. In the, pa in the past, industrial robots are troubled with overkill. AI can now resolve the overkill issue. But working with our clients, we have found that when they work with AI on surveillance, on 3D visuals, our clients would tell us that they don't know how much training is enough. Some people may say that you need a certain number of input to train your um, AI visual. And um, these clients would think, wow, that's a lot of trouble because there's a lot of human beings involved in labeling, in tagging, in sorting these uh, materials and data. And that's a big trouble. And, and they would quit on, the, on the, the project. So we need to work with our clients to create a customized AI model that costs the client as little trouble as possible so that they will be motivated to do it, to apply it in the their work process. Right now, we have linked uh, about 20 to 30 different types of industrial robots and more than 30 to 40 different types of machine vision, uh, for example, cameras to our platform. We also e deploy neural networks so that um, more AI foundation models can be included on our platform. Sometimes people mistakenly thought that with just open source um, material, open source uh, resources, they will be able to create a great AI model. But it's not as easy as they have imagined. So in on our platform, our client doesn't need to write a single line of code with drag and drop. They can use the resources that we have linked and uh, consolidated together to create the AI model that's most suitable for them. So for our clients, they can have a very speedy deployment of AI applications on their work process. So we have clients spanning across different manufacturing sectors, including in automotives and in other sectors. So if we want to use AI robots to overcome um, labor shortage issues, we need to make sure that these AI robots are as smart as people. They are uh, not just the old uh, traditional robotic arms that are good at repetitive tasks. NVIDIA are now working very hard to develop these capacities for smart AI robots. And we are also introducing them to our platform. Maybe one day when you go to a hair salon, you would see an, an, a robot you know, styling your hair. And you would feel very comfortable with um, this robot working on scissors over your head. Then I think that's the day when AI is truly part of our life.
because of low fertility rates, and also I've seen in the news that uh, people believe that um, science major is a better choice. Uh, so no one wants to study in liberal arts or in humanities anymore. So companies are now fighting for talents. We have been relying on international um, talents a lot. In our visual department, we have uh, employees from 15 different countries. Some of them studied uh, postgraduate programs here in Taiwan. They also introduced um, our company to uh, their friends back in their home nations, like in Vietnam or the Philippines. So I think this is a must for Taiwanese companies. Just like what Mr. Liu has said, you know, when there's a TSMC offer or media tech offer, people would not choose us. I think 90% of them would just choose TSMC or media tech, these big companies.